Hi, I'm Lisa from Plant Happy. At the end of this video, I'm going to answer the question of why you may want to transfer your plants to Leica rather than growing in water indefinitely. I'm also going to show you the process of transferring some rooted and non-rooted cuttings into our hydroponic planter. Here's the Leica we're going to be using today. That's how it looks. There's our hydro-friendly planter, and these are some of the non-rooted cuttings we're planting. We have some variegated golden pothos, as well as one cutting of Monstera adizoniae that does have some roots, and one that doesn't to make this arrangement a little more diverse and interesting. Then we have some pothos cuttings that are already rooted in water that we'll also be adding. We've got our hydro-friendly planter, and I'm adding a layer of leca to the bottom. Then in go some of our non-rooted cuttings. I'm making sure to place them all the way down to the bottom of the pot so they'll be touching the water. In some cases, I'll need to remove the lowest leaf, so it's only bare stems inside the pot. Now I'm filling in a little more leca before adding in our rooted cuttings. First, I'm cleaning the roots with some 3% hydrogen peroxide to make sure we're not introducing any bacteria. I'll carefully add those in and you can see the roots and stems are pretty low in the pot. Now I'm filling in the rest of the Leica and using this tool to spread it around and make sure there are no big air gaps. I'll continue filling it like this until it's completely full. I believe these cuttings will thrive in this setup and grow very well. The main reason why I personally prefer to grow plants in Leica as opposed to just water is that when using this self-watering system, the Leica is much more forgiving and allows you to go even several weeks without doing any watering, depending on the type of plant. When you're growing plants in just water, it's extremely important to change the water every few days to avoid root rot. This system allows much more flexibility and I don't have to worry about root rot. The plant is able to take the water from the Leica as it needs. Also, it looks so nice. Here is the plant all potted up in our hydroponic planter and looking great. I'll add some fertilized water about one third of the way up if you don't have those drainage holes to go by. Finally, I'm placing the plant under some bright grow lights and I'll continue to care for this with fertilized water. A tip for growing in any glass or clear container is to add a little 3% hydrogen peroxide to the water to prevent any algae growth. You can find the links to the product I used in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video made for you by Plant Happy. Follow our channel or visit our website for more information about growing houseplants in Leica. Bye!